go. My name is John, and I will be discussing the diaphragma citri, commonly known as the Asian citrus psyllid. My name is Ashlyn, and I will be discussing the Agrilus clinipennis, commonly known as the emerald ash borer. And we will be discussing which would be the better invading species, the Asian citrus psyllid versus the emerald ash borer. The diaphragma citrate, or commonly known as the Asian citrus psyllid, is a tiny insect that ranges from three to four millimeters long. Although it is small, it is mighty, and they use its size to their advantage. Their size makes them hard to find when they are invading new areas, and they can spread quickly even if none are spotted. The easiest way for a human to spot them is by seeing their unique way on feeding on leaves. Because of the shape of their head, they feed on a 45-degree angle, and no other insect feeds this way. Asian citrus psyllid carries a disease called human long being disease, also known as HLB, which is the most severe threat to citrus trees across the entire world. It started in Eastern Asia and then began to spread to the United States. It started in Palm Beach, Florida in 1998 and rapidly spread over the next three years. After HLB hit Florida, citrus production dropped by 80%. Shortly after, they were found in California, where they have spent billions of dollars a year creating an extensive monitoring program to track and prevent the spread of HLB disease. They feed on all citrus trees, so they are a threat to any area with citrus fruit. This disease acts fast. It can kill an entire citrus tree in just five years, and once they are exposed, there is no cure. They have very few natural predators, making them not to have to worry about enemies. Their lifespan is about 15 to 45 days, depending on the environment, and females lay 300 to 800 eggs during their life. Their lives may be quick, but the population grows quicker. The emerald ash borer is a small metallic green beetle that is about half an inch long and is native to Asia, where it co-evolved with a number of natural enemies. When the beetle was introduced to North America, it left most of its natural em enemies behind, allowing it to establish and spread quickly. Female emerald ash borers can lay hundreds of eggs in their lifetime, and the larvae can complete their development within one year. This rapid reproductive rate allows emerald ash borer populations to build up very quickly, especially in the absence of natural enemies. The emerald ash borer has a broad host range feeding on all species of North American ash trees. This allows it to colonize and exploit a large number of potential host trees. Adult emerald ash borers are strong flyers and can disperse over long distances, allowing them to colonize new areas and establish new infestations. The emerald ash borer larva bore under the bark of ash trees where they are protected from many natural enemies and control measures. This also makes them difficult to detect and control as they are hidden from view. North American ash trees also have a little natural resistance to emerald ash borer infestations, making them vulnerable to attack. The beetle feeds on and kills species of ash trees, which are an important component of forest and urban landscapes. Significant loss of ash trees can cause changes in forest composition and structure while also affecting the wildlife in those habitats. The emerald ash borer is half an inch long, making it almost 13 millimeters. This means it is almost four times larger than the Asian citrate psyllid. So the emerald ash borer is not only easier to spot by predators, but also by humans. Humans are the ones who have the ability to prevent and kill all insects with chemicals and pesticides. Once they are spotted by humans, they are dead. They are also metallic, making them easy to see, while the Asian citrus psyllid is a light brown that could be mistaken for dirt or blend right into nature. Another point made is that they rapidly produce and the larvae complete their development within a year. By Asian citrus psyllids lay 300 to 800, oh, 300 eggs in their lifetime, and their entire life cycle is only one to two months. Although their life is short, they are producing so fast that it makes their population rapidly grow wherever they feed. Debater A states that because of the emerald ash borer's metallic green color, which means that they are in their adult stage, makes them easier to be seen and killed. Despite this being true, it should be known that the emerald ash borer larva 
does the most damage and is more invasive. The larvae feed inside of the bark and the wood of ash trees, making it harder for them to be seen, which allows them to keep damaging the trees. Debater A also points out that the reproduction rate of the emerald ash borer and counters that the Asian citrus psyllid lays more eggs in their lifetime. And although this is true, the emerald ash borer has a significantly longer lifetime than the Asian citrus psyllid, which creates more damage in the long run. The emerald ash borer also spends about 300 to 400 days out of its lifespan as a larva, which does the most damage to trees feeding on their inner bark and disrupting the flow of water and nutrients. This damage has killed millions of ash trees in North America since it was discovered in Michigan in 2002 and continues to kill millions more. The Bader B states that they do most damage in their lives larvae stage, which is before they turn a metallic color. But worm-like larvae are easy to spot as well as they are still larger than the Asian citrus psyllid. I also agree that the emerald ash borer does have a significant impact on the e ecological and economic damage on ash trees, but it is does not compare to the damage done on the citrus fruit across the entire world. As I mentioned earlier, the Florida citrus fruit industry got hit so hard that it dropped by almost 80% in three years. Citrus fruits such as lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit, and so many other major citrus fruits in the United States depend on where getting harder to produce. Asian citrus psyllids are rapidly spreading worldwide, starting in Asia, then Florida, California, and now Texas. Since the insects are so hard to spot, they are tricky to prevent and get rid of. Once the HLB disease infects a tree, there is no treatment. This is the number one disease across the United States killing citrus plants. California has a budget of $40 million a year to find ways to prevent this disease from infecting future areas and hurting major citrus fruit businesses. The ecological damage to citrus Asian, the Asian citrus psyllid has across the world is only getting worse. Debater A mentioned that the Asian citrus psyllid plays a big factor in the damages being done to the citrus industry. However, I would like to argue that the damage done by the emerald ash borer species has a far greater impact on society and our environment in different ways from that of the Asian citrus psyllid. The emerald ash borer attacks all species of ash trees, which hold a large portion of the forest industry. As millions of trees are being affected by this species, it also affects the economic and ecological value. Economically, these trees are commercially valuable for their hardwood, which is used for all, all sorts of production materials, such as furniture, flooring, etc. Ecologically, the ash trees provide important habitat and food sources for a variety of wildlife. It is important to note that because these trees are facing such an invasive threat, there is severe population loss for the ash trees. Um, because of the devastation, emerald ash borer infestations are estimated to be 10 to $20 billion in the United States and Canada, as it includes the cost of tree removal, replacements, and treatment, as well as the loss of ecosystem services provided by the ash trees. The Asian citrus psyllid is important to study because it is causing significant damage to the citrus fruit industry across the world. With the little amount of natural predators, the insect is rapidly spreading worldwide. It is best for all farmers in the citrus fruit industry to be aware of the impact they can have on their plants, and it is important they find ways to prevent them from affecting their plants. Ways they can be prepared is by knowing what they look like, from the 45 degree angle in which they feed. That is one of the main ways to identify them knowing how to spot these tiny insects could spare them millions or even billions of dollars. It is important that they do research on the HLB disease to show how deadly this disease is. There are no ways to cure it, so once a tree is infected, it is dead. Studies show that more than 50% of homeowners in so Southern California have citrus plants or trees on their property, so it is essentially for three years of people to know how they can prevent these insects and diseases from spreading in their yards. I believe it if it is between the emerald ash borer and the Asian citrus psyllid, the Asian citrus psyllid has caused more damage and is more of an invasive species. It has more of an impact on the environment uh, 
economy? The emerald ash borer is important because it is used in research to study insect biology and behaviors such as feeding behavior or reproductive patterns. It helps to better understand how this invasive species spreads and infests trees. Researchers are also studying the emerald ash borer to develop effective management strategies for controlling the spread of the invasive species. The emerald ash borer is important to study because it is a significant economic pest causing billions of dollars in damage to ash trees throughout North America and has a significant impact on forest ecosystems. Studying this insect gives researchers the opportunity to study an invasive fast spreading species and to figure out the underlying mechanisms that contribute to their successful establishment and spread. Studying the species can give us a better understanding of the environmental and economical impacts of invasive species and develop new strategies for pest and ecosystem management. Thank you. Thank you.